I just want it to fit without having to let the dress out because it'll ruin the look of the dress. My arms aren't toned and you can see my back hanging off of the dress. Um, my middle and my arms are quite big. I'd rather be, you know, being able to breathe and eat on that special day. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. Wow, that is a crazy dress. Yeah. Too tight. Meet Tristan. She's a travel agent who won't be flying high on her big day if she's bulging out of her ultra-revealing wedding dress. Things are not fitting the way it's supposed to, and I'm, I am I'm losing sleep over it. Looks like Tristan's on the verge of a wardrobe malfunction. She needs our help. Bad. Let's go. Tristan. Looks like you have a big problem. Tommy Europe, personal trainer. Nice to meet you. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Nice to meet you. You're gonna need this. Keep track of everything you eat. Don't leave anything out. This is your new wardrobe. Oh, okay. Get ready, because you're starting now. Right now? Right now. I don't have a choice. Like, it's not like I can go get my seamstress to go make this over again in the next six weeks. I have to get into this. Six. Tristan's gonna have to work her butt and everything else off. How did that feel? I can't read. Or she'll be another bulging bride. Are you serious? What? Maybe somebody else could be the bride. That would help. That'd help a lot. to hang. I wanted to get a dress that would make him proud. I want to be a vixen when I walk down the aisle. I've got six weeks to fix myself and I need a miracle. I love like a big plate of pasta with tons of like shaved Asiago on it. And I love just about every kind of cheese. I come from a long line of cheese eaters. I love cheese. <laughs> Sometimes he'll come home with ice cream bars and licorice. I like candy, and uh, <laughs> I'm not shy about eating junk food. It just doesn't stick to me. I'm really stressed out and I'm really devastated because this is not what I'm picturing for my beautiful beach wedding in six weeks from now. So I need a miracle. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're in a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Tristan's food diary told us she loves to chow down on cheese, pasta, and high-fat treats. Tristan, get ready to walk down your aisle of shame. This is where we take a look at some of your unhealthy eating habits. First stop along the way, I like to call the free-for-all. This is how you start your day off. You go for a cake and a green tea latte. Yeah. Then you head off to work full of fat, and you might grab a burger. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. You head home, and you're ready for a full fat, full on pasta dinner, half a bottle of wine, 4,000 calories. Let's go. You're a self proclaimed pastaholic. I call this the portion distortion. You eat three times the recommended servings. Is this for a year? This is for a month, okay? Do you know what this breaks down to, calorie-wise? 30,000 calories just in pasta in one month. Next station, I like to call fromage flabage. Because this cheese is going to turn into flab on your body. You are consuming about 288 cups of cheese per year. Check that out. That's a lot of cheese. That is 150,000 calories of cheese in one year. That's 48 pounds of fat on your body. Well, now that we've seen what your bad eating habits are, let's see how it's been affecting your body shape. Let's go. Nadine. Hello. Tristan. Hi. Welcome to your shape analysis. Today, we're gonna be taking some measurements and weight. We're gonna use those to compare your results at a later time. Bust, 39 inches. Waist, 31. Hips, 39. 
No, I'm not. 39. Okay, up on the scale. Your weight, 150 pounds. 150. So Tristan, you're five foot four, dress size of a 10, weighing 150 pounds, and your body type is a rectangle. How do you feel about all of that? I don't even like to look at, I don't even, I don't like to hear it. <laughs> well, let's go try on that crazy dress of yours and see what's popping out and what's not. Okay. Hey, Jean. Hey, guys. Tristan, this is Jean. She's gonna help you into your dress. Hello. Hi. Sway. Is that too tight? I'm pulling pretty hard. Okay. That's some dress. Yeah. Jean? Yes, this is some dress. Certainly not for the shy. It's a two-piece dress. It's pretty cool. Skirt here is a mermaid cut, which means that it's tight to the knees and then flares down to the bottom. The bodice is fitted halter style, plunging peekaboo V-neck. It's puckering here on the sides. So it means it's too tight in the thighs and in the hips. Also in the back, it laces up about this much. It should be like this much. Mm. And it should close down into a V so you can't see the skirt underneath. Definitely gonna be focusing on this area here because you're bigger in the chest. You don't want anything popping out the sides. The back. Mm some through the hips and the butt, so it's nice and form-fitting. But before we get there, we've got a lot of work to do. Do you promise to follow your nutrition plan? And in your fitness plan, do you promise to go above and beyond the call of duty? That I can promise. In six weeks, we're gonna tone up Tristan's arms, slim down her waistline, and melt inches off her hips. What if my body doesn't do what I want it to do at the end? That's really concerning to me. Tristan, welcome to your obstacle course. Consider this your fitness assessment. Welcome to the wedding crunch. <sighs> Try to come all the way up. Good. How are those feeling so far? <sighs> Horrible. Well, it's probably gonna get worse. Okay, Tristan, rings of fire. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Through the rings again. Five. I didn't realize how out of shape I was until I got here. I'm gonna slim you down. I've seen what that dress looks like. Somebody needs cardio. How did that feel? I can't breathe. Let me introduce you to TJ. Tommy Jr. Don't miss Tommy Jr. I need this. More hips, more hips. Come on, give it to Tommy Jr. He can't even feel you right now. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Tristan needs to hang that wedding dress up in her closet and look at it every day. Let that serve as motivation. She's got to do a lot of work. She doesn't have that much time to do it in. I will see you soon. Okay. Not really looking forward to the amount of work I'm going to have to do to make this work. Tristan, your food diary indicated that you have a ton of naughty nutrition no-nos, and we have to get rid of those in order to get you into that dress. Sugar. Chocolate, more sugar. There's no need for that. Um, a chicken sandwich, are you kidding me? 600 calories, fast food yeah. is out. That was humiliating. Um, I didn't realize how bad, I guess, my daily diet was. This is one of your major pitfalls, isn't it? I'm addicted to cheese. The first step is admitting it. I couldn't believe what I found in those cupboards. High fat, high calorie food, cheeses, white breads, white pasta, white rice. That does not go well with a revealing dress. She's injured her quad. Next, the plot takes an unexpected twist and Tristan may have to alter her entire wedding plans along with her dress. I'm pretty worried that I won't be able to fit into that dress. You're gonna look like a noodle in that dress. Tristan's love of cheese and rich homemade meals has her almost busting right out of her ultra-revealing dress. And we've only got six weeks to whip her into shape. I'm gonna slim you down. I've seen what that dress looks like. How you doing, Tristan? I'm good. Many brides gain 10 to 15 pounds through the first year of marriage. In your case, cheese, cheese, and more cheese. And you love pasta. On your third wedding anniversary, this is what you're gonna look like. Ew, 
that's disgusting. Ew. Ew, that's really gross. Do you like that? No, I don't. That's, I don't wanna, ew. <laughs> that's really sick. Well, there is another option. Follow the meal plan and the fitness plan. You could look like this. That's much better. You like that look? Mm-hmm. Now, in your past, you were active. I want to get you better than that in a safe and effective way. Sound good to you? Sounds great. OK, because we're going to start right now. Come with me. OK, you can do a core row push-up. So row with one arm, row with the other arm, and a push-up. This is a compound exercise, working your chest, working your arms, working your core. She really has to tighten up through her upper chest, definitely through her lower body, um, because that dress is so tight that every single thing is gonna show. Drive your hips up as high as you can. Five second hold, this is a bridge. It's gonna be for your glutes, your hamstrings, your core. Keep breathing, flex that butt. I'm gonna have Tristan in the gym six days a week, doing three hours of resistance training and three hours of cardio. Now we're doing a row. It's gonna be working your arms, obviously, working your core, it's gonna be working your lats. In my own head, I would have stopped at least 10 to 15 exercises ago, and he makes me go even further. Get ready, baby. <laughs> that dress is gonna show everybody exactly what she has or hasn't been doing. Tristan, this is an example of one day in your new plan. One cup of healthy cereal, whole grain, lunch, mm -hmm. half of a pita, and it's a whole wheat pita, tons of vegetables, you can use hummus or mustard, and three slices of ham. Go for the low fat option of ham. Dinner, four ounces of chicken, zucchini, and half a yam. You are gonna have cheese, two ounces a day only. This is another way to tell how big cheese is supposed to be. One serving. They're gonna put what? Two thumbs worth of cheese on my on my daily like don't even. That's a that's a mean teaser. Are you ready to take this on? The new food plan is gonna balance Tristan's meals out. We're gonna give her less carbs, especially the white ones, and more protein, more fruits and vegetables. This is gonna keep her very energetic and ready to take on all those wedding events that she has coming up. I just got back from Las Vegas for my stagette. We drank lots of alcohol and ate lots of bad things, and I am nursing a pulled quadricep. I definitely can't go and run and do cardio and do all the things that I need to do as far as exercise goes. Here's the rundown. She's injured her quad in Vegas on a stagette. <laughs> okay. So we need to figure that out, because we don't all have right. that much time left. No? Okay. I'm go here, okay? I'm pretty worried that I won't be able to lose enough weight or lose enough inches or whatever it is that I need to do to fit into that dress. So what's the verdict, Dave? She actually has a quad pull that was due to her hip flexor. We've loosened off the hip flexor now, so you can get right back to it, Tristan. Okay. Okay. Hey, Tristan, what size are your feet? The pull is a great workout, especially when you're rehabbing an injury. You've got 30 seconds. Looking good. This is what she's gonna have to do now because that's all she can do. Tristan's got a mermaid dress. She better be good in the water. And one. Are you serious? What? Next, another new twist raises Tristan's stress level. Maybe somebody else could be the bride. That would help. That'd help a lot. That's a little sore right there, is it? After injuring herself, we're hoping an adjusted fitness plan will help Tristan make a splash in her super tight mermaid dress. We've got a lot of work to do. Hello, Miss Tristan. Hi. Three week win, how are you feeling? I'm nervous. Bust, 38 inches. You've lost one inch. Wow. Waist, 29. Down two inches. Feet together. Hips, 38. You've lost one inch. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 147 pounds. You're down three pounds. How do you feel about that? It's not anywhere near where I want to be. <laughs> Halfway through, 
time to step it up. Yes. Let's try that dress on and see how you look. Okay. Jean, tell us about the dress. Remember this gap? It'd be nice to close it up so much that you can't see the skirt underneath. Still a little big in the hips so you can see all this rippling on the side. We've got three weeks to work with. As I said, you're gonna have to bust your ass. I know. Injury or no injury, she's just gonna have to work harder. Good afternoon, this is Tristan. Hey, George, how's it going? Are you serious? What? My cousin that's supposed to be meeting me in Mexico and walking me down the aisle just said that he can't go. It's really stressful, like, I can barely, yeah. My bridesmaid's not coming anymore because she can't afford it, who's also my hairdresser, who is also the MC of the wedding. I'm getting help from nowhere. Maybe somebody else could be the bride, that would help. That'd help a lot. Tommy, is there a light at the end of this tunnel? Next. Will it be smooth sailing for Tristan and Joshua? And we see if our bride-to-be can pull off her daring dress. Wow, that is a crazy dress. Yeah. It's too tight. Tristan dreams of looking like a mermaid for her beach wedding. But after pulling a leg muscle, she had disappointing results at the halfway mark. You've lost three pounds. It's not anywhere near where I want to be. <laughs> now, Joshua gets to help propel her to the finish line. Tristan? Yeah. Joshua? Tommy? I heard uh, you've been leaving most of the work up to Tristan. This is a fact. Well, today's your partner challenge, so you've got another chance to be Prince Charming. Okay. We're gonna do a 10-kilometer kayak, and you guys are gonna have to work as a team. Let's go! After injury, we really had to modify uh, what we did and how we did it. Uh, kayaking involves a lot of core strength and upper body strength. I would like to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Keep going, there you go. Reach and pull, reach and pull. Come on, baby. Make it happen. It wasn't until about three quarters of the way through that I realized that I was probably doing it incorrectly. Then I started getting the hang of it. And uh, so she must have been doing a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> Tommy, is there a light at the end of this tunnel? Look towards the blue sky, that's where we're going. Keep paddling, let's go. I put them in the, in the kayak and they worked together as a team and they trusted in uh, each, each other and they both worked extremely hard. Well, congratulations. All right. You guys completed the partner challenge in uh, some pretty rough waters. So, did Prince Charming come through this time? He did. But I say we go inside and get warm. Yes. How you doing, Tristan? I'm good. Really? No, I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> what are you nervous about? Numbers. Bust, 37 inches. You've lost two inches. Wow. Happy with that? Yep. Waist, 28. Down three inches. Wow. Very nice. Just, oh, that's it? <gasps> I'm still scared. Hips, 37. You've lost two inches off your hips. Wow. Impressive. I'm proud of myself. Let's check out the weight. 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 100. 38 pounds. Wow, Tristan, you've lost 12 pounds. Wow, really? Well, you've worked hard, but your work isn't done yet. It's time to see how you look in the dress. Okay. Hooked up here. Yep. I need to tighten it more. Is okay. That okay? Yeah. As a surprise, I invited Tristan's mom and best friend to see the results of her hard work. Are you two almost ready? Here she comes. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so Jean, tell us about the dress and the changes. Wow, this dress fits like a glove. Right here, it is completely smooth, whereas before, 
It was hugging and bunching and wrinkling. Now it just skims her body. Best of all, where it laces up in the back, it closes up into a slim V. This area is completely closed, so you cannot see the skirt underneath. Well, you worked your butt off for six weeks, fought off some injuries, still soldiered through, and it shows. Congratulations, <laughs> wedding day is gonna be a blast. It is. This dress is very unforgiving, and with lots of hard work, it forgave me. She looks beautiful. She lost the weight, she lost the inches, everywhere that she had to. And uh, her and Joshua are gonna have a great wedding, and I wish them very well. Despite an injury, Tristan managed to work out and stick to her meal plan. She lost 12 pounds and seven inches, and will be turning heads on her wedding day. I'm very excited to walk down the aisle. Very excited to show everybody all my hard work. I'm walking a lot taller, I'm feeling better. People are complimenting me daily. It'll be a big shock to everybody, and I know my dress will be a big shock too, so I'm very looking forward to being as confident as I now feel.